All right. Hello again, adventures, and welcome to another exciting daily vlog. This is daily vlog number one for the forty-sixth. Uh, so today, um, weird the 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 things have been g g g going on. Um, I needed to drink. So, 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 um, months ago, I got to so, so, say, um, I had, uh, a, uh, uh, an incident, whatever you want to cook it, call it. Basically, um, I had very similar to what happened earlier the, 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 this week. I woke up with like extremely like my my heart was was racing like 180 200 beats per minute like crazy crazy high uh, heart rate um, I was sweating I was uh, my body was convulsing like it was just a really really nightmare the, the thing um, and my first thought was the last time I f f felt like this was when I was dealing w with um, serotonin syndrome for anyone that's unaware um everyone thinks serotonin is like the greatest thing ever and it's a remarkably good thing for your brain however you know the whole thing of too much of a good, good good thing well um if you get too much serotonin in your brain you develop uh, uh this thing called either serotonin toxicity or serotonin syndrome um and it's deadly um, it gives you a, a fever. Uh, it can give you convulsions. There's a bunch of different things that it d d d d does uh, to, to, to you. For me personally, um, the worst part about it was for a month, um, I had full body, constant full body convulsions. Um, it was one of the most miserable to the times of my entire life. It just sucked. Um, and the reason it lasted for a month was because uh, they had put me on low dose of uh, fluoxetine, which I think is Zoloft, is the brand name. And uh, it's generally considered a very, very safe antidepressant to uh, b -b -b be on um, because it has a remarkably long half-life. Um, drug half-lives are basically... Um, how long it takes for half of it to work its way through your system. Um, and if you ever need to figure out how long it's going to take for you to completely get something out of your system, uh, as far as, as meds are concerned, um, you just take the half-life of whatever meds you're talking about and multiply it by three. So for a uh, so fluoxetine has a, a half-life of nine days. So nine times three, 27 days. For 27 days, I had this drug in my system that was literally trying to kill me. Um, and um, yeah, it was really, really ho horrible. I found out that uh, there are a lot of different medications that affect serotonin. Things like um, anti-nausea meds. Most anti-nausea meds will affect your serotonin levels, meaning they will kill me. Um, most migraine medication will affect your serotonin levels, so they will kill me. I can't take take those. Um, uh, cannabis and to the THC affects your serotonin levels, uh, so uh, I can't to take like in in Wisconsin, um, cannabis in and of itself is not legal, um, so that was never an option for for me. However. Uh, THC um, is legal um, and I actually know people that use it to treat anxiety I can't because it will literally ki ki kill me well another thing that I found out is in the 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 the, 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 the um, uh, health supplement market uh, the market itself is extremely unregulated um, and so most of the time uh, if you're getting like a supplement um, they can print almost anything they want on there and there's not a whole lot unless they're saying like medically provably false things like this pill will make you fly or something um, they can do whatever they want and they also don't actually have to list the ingredients for, 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 for um, 
anything in there, or at least they don't have to list all of the ingredients. The reason this matters is um, I can't take most sleep medication because, again, it messes with serotonin. Um, so if I'm having problems sleeping, the only thing I can take is melatonin. Melatonin is a natural hormone um, that's produced by the b -b body. Um, and uh, the, it's, it's one of the ways that your body tells you it's time to go to bed. Um, it will start increasing uh, melatonin p -p -p production around the time that you're supposed to go to sleep. And it does a bunch of things like it makes you tired. It actually dries your eyes out a little bit to encourage you to keep them closed. A bunch of other things like that. Um, there are tons and tons and tons of melatonin supplements on the market by tons and tons of different people. Um, it is it is completely unregulated. And technically, melatonin is relatively safe. Like if you OD on it, I don't think there's anything in it that will kill you. There are some bad things that can happen if you take too much melatonin. Things like you can get uh, intestinal problems and real bad cramps and stuff like that. Um, but I don't, th I don't think, don't, this is not medical advice. Don't take it as such. I don't think it'll kill you. Um, still not good for you though. Uh, so I take low dose melatonin when I need to start sleeping. I can't take it a lot because, uh, my body adapts to medications instantly. Um, and so if I take it too often, it just completely loses its ability to do anything to me. And then um, I become dependent on it to where I can't sleep without taking it. So, so um, one of the things that some melatonin manufacturers will do is they will put in things that increase your serotonin levels because it's another thing that can help you calm down and help you get to sleep faster. And that's really what melatonin is sold for. It's a sleep aid. But for me, that means that it will kill me. Um, so figuring out which brands actually have melaton or uh, serotonin uh, uh, in them and the ones that don't isn't something that I can look through like a, a label or something. Be it, it's, it's not listed on anything. So anytime I take serotonin, it's kind of Russian roulette. Um, but I found a brand of serotonin that I've been using for years now. Or not serotonin, no, melatonin that I've been using for years now. And the reason I keep using it is because they don't, as far as I can tell, they don't put any serotonin in it. Well, this thing happened months ago and uh, it felt like I was dealing with serotonin syndrome again. And so I immediately assumed, because I'd taken melatonin that night, I immediately assumed, crap, it was a relatively new bottle of melatonin. Um, so I'm like, crap, they must have changed the, 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 their, uh, their formula. And now I can't take this. And so since then, my sleep schedule has been absolute shit because I can't do anything to regulate it. And when I try to kind of force myself to stay awake, um, I get really, really bad panic attacks. Like it's, it's the weirdest thing in the world. I've, I've never experienced this before. I... When I was younger, you know, I would spend, you know, 36 to 48 hours awake at a time, depending on what show I was doing. Um, so I have no idea why now, if I'm, you know, a few hours late to b -b bed, my body freaks out. But um, and then if I try to just sleep more, uh, I have more panic attacks. Like it's the weirdest thing in the world. And so I've been going through hell over the past few months because the one tool I have had for years to be able to help kind of regulate my sleep schedule was taken away from me. And it was really messing with me bad. Well, earlier this week, I had the exact same thing happen that happened months ago. Um, you know, uh, uh, heart racing, full body convulsions, fever, uh, just really, really unpleasant. It goes on for like three to five hours. Um, it is, I would not wor wish this on my worst enemy. Um, but I hadn't taken melatonin in months. Uh, and so I realized that it obviously wasn't the melatonin do do doing that. Um, and unless I had something else in my diet or something else that increased my serotonin production, it wasn't 
a repeat of serotonin syndrome. It was probably just another version of conversion disorder. Um, which is uh, kind of, you know, there it's, it's, you know, there are good things and bad things about that. Um, the bad things, I don't know what's causing it and I can't predict when it's going to happen again. And when it happens, it is really, really bad. Um, I won't go into f -f 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 full details, but yeah, it's living nightmare does not do it justice. And again, it goes for hours and there's nothing I can do to s -s 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 stop it. Um, I just have to kind of, you know, bear down and, and try to get to the other s -s 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 side. Uh, without going completely out of my mind. Um, so that's not f -f fun. However, it means that I can take melatonin again. Uh, and so I think the last two nights uh, I've been using it and I've been getting longer sleep. I don't know if it's better sleep in any way, shape, or form, but I've been getting longer sleep and I'm starting to develop a sleep schedule again. Uh, which is very, very nice. It's the weirdest thing, again, especially living in a basement where I, I, I don't see the sun down here. Uh, figuring out what t -t 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 time it is and what I should be doing is really, really hard because I don't have like a day-night cycle down here to, to f -f 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 figure that out. Uh, so that's been really, really n -n 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 nice. Um, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to use the melatonin before I just build up build up a tolerance to it again. But I kind of, for the past, I don't know, like five or six years at this point, I kind of go through these cycles where I will be using melatonin. Uh, generally, it'll, it'll start off like maybe a couple nights a week, and then eventually it'll turn into every night, and then I'll develop the dependence on it, and then I will just slowly wean myself off of it, and then, you know, I'll be completely without melatonin for a while, and then I'll go back to it, and it's... It's a weird s -s cycle, but it's something I can d -d 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 deal with. So, so, so um, yeah, that's what's been going on with m -m 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 me recently. Like I said, this is impressively not fun. Like it's, it's ev every time my brain comes up with a new way to punish me, um, it, it's impressive to me, you know, for lack of a better term, like it just, it surprises me every single time going, wow, I didn't think this was possible for my brain to do to me. Um, and each one is like this new form of d -d 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 torture that I just have to kind of bear through it. Like there's no, there's no medication I can to take. Uh, because again, the vast majority of them will kill me. Uh, and the ones that won't, uh, <laughs> are either habit forming or addictive. Uh, and I don't want to deal with that stuff anymore or they cause permanent brain damage. Uh, thank you, benzos. Um, so yeah, it's just been, it's been not f -f 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 fun recently. Today was a little bit in a nicer, um, I got to play a little bit of uh, Final Fantasy XIV, and then uh, I got to do a little um, D uh, D and D online uh, and run through the uh, Isle of Dread kick of content again, uh, which that was fun. Um, so yeah, like I said it has been. Remarkably and pleasant recently, but I'm slowly feeling, mm, slowly feeling a little bit of a better. I'm hoping uh, if I continue to rest and relax that I'll keep getting as, as good as I can until my brain finds a new way to punish me. So, story of my life. One of these days, something will happen some medical breakthrough something and 
I'll have a tool to use against this. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be a breakthrough in my therapy. I don't know if it's going to be a new medication or just my life magically ch -ch changes. Um, if anyone has a couple hundred million dollars that they want to throw my way, I'm more than happy to take that off your hands. Um, so I could get a house where I could live above ground. That would be fun. Um, and never have to worry about money again. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's what's been good, good, good going on. Um, we will see what tomorrow b -b brings. Right now, I'm going to go lay down, see if I can relax long enough to get some sleep, and see what t -t 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 tomorrow brings. So it's all for me today. I will see you, you, you guys in the next time. All right. Bye-bye.